functionality. So for this one, we're going to be looking at the torch module, lighting, and just how vision works in addition for like buildings and being able to use the vision to create good line of sight effects. So in addition to the two tokens I have on here, one person doesn't have dark vision, one person does have 60 feet of dark vision because she's a half drow. I also am just going to throw a regular drow that has a dark vision of 120 feet. So when they are in, let me activate his vision real quick. And has vision done. Okay. And I didn't save. And activates vision, has vision, save. Okay. So this guy here can pretty much see everything. Uh, so for walls, what I did is I created just a small little box house with a, one door and one back window. I also created just a simple terrain wall like I with like a tree. I have just a small ethereal wall section as well as a secret door with some walls and just a wall with two regular doors and just a secret door and then just a small little cube for invisible walls. So we'll go back over to the player. So this guy here, he only has just regular five feet of dim vision. I've already preset up for a torch. Uh, she does not have any torch set up because she has the 60 feet of dark vision. And then of course we have the drow that's got the uh, 120 dark vision. So with the module that we're gonna be looking at, which is the torch module, which is down here, uh, whenever you activate the torch icon, it'll give you this new little icon. So when you right click on your character, so when you click on it, it'll, whatever settings you have preset up, it'll do default settings to, you know, set to what you want it to do. So like it'll, you can preset up your settings. So it'll do the, the exact 20 feet bright vision, 40 feet dark or dim vision. And you can also do another cool effect, which is you give your dancing lights vision. So that's very useful, especially for like the character like the Drow that actually has the dancing light cantrip that they get as an innate spellcasting. So I'll show you that here in a second. I still haven't figured out exactly what gives the Drow specifically the ability. I know they have the innate spellcasting, but the way the module activates, so whenever they activate the torch, it creates the effect of the dancing lights, which I really like because in my other game, uh, we have a drow where she never used the ability because there's really no point for it and we played in fantasy grounds and there's no real way to really create the effect of dancing lights you just kind of kind of verbalize okay i'm gonna put a light you know 20 feet ahead of us okay but uh, it's really hard to visualize sometimes unless you sit there and create like a little a bubble and you'd be like okay 20 feet ahead of you there's a light and i it just it wasn't very practical and then you can drag it moving around but that's one thing i really like about foundry where you can create the light effect on it so when she activates the torch which let's do it on a regular guy first so he activates a torch it gives him his uh, 20 feet of dim vision and dark vision so it's really hard to see on this map because this isn't the greatest uh, map for it but you know when he moves around the light moves with him he doesn't have to do anything fancy uh, you can change the color light to make it look however you want um, I used to also drop the intensity down to about, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.45, just because I don't like it to take away from the map or, you know, make things look a little more wonky. I don't like it when it's super bright and it takes away from it. So, but when a drow casts or activates the torch icon, it actually creates four mini uh, dancing light effects. So, uh, even one that wasn't already preset, just so you can see, so it creates it for all of them. So... Uh, and then you can go to each individual one and you can, you know, change the color if you want to. It has just the same effect of the 10 feet uh, dim radius. And these all have set up for they have vision. So I'm going to move some of these down so you can kind of see how they change and creates the nice effect that would allow somebody, especially who does not have very far vision, to be able to see and you can actually take advantage of it, especially on something like Foundry, where it actually put a lot of effort in lighting. All right, put some down here. Okay, so now let's switch over to, uh, as a player, okay, and battle map, and save configuration, and I don't have a character. Let me, well, let me switch back over to GM mode. That's my fault. I forgot to give myself that character before I switched over. All right. And 
spell on that. Okay, so we'll use him as our player character. So, all right. So I'm gonna configure. I'm gonna take ownership of him. We'll move him, and should do that. And then we'll add him on here. Delete the other one, and we'll reset him up real quick. That way we have this good to go. And have it uh, doop 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 doop. Okay, and we'll set as a torch up real quick. Let's remove that. So five, and we have forty and twenty. We'll change the light up a little bit. We'll do a we'll do a pretty blue light this time, just to change it up a little bit. And we're gonna do the torch animation and update. So now he's got a nice pretty blue light. And turn that back off. Okay. So now let me remove this guy and grab the new one. There he is. Select that. And that should be good. Okay, now switch back over to the player. All right, so once this loads back up, we'll take a look at some of the walls and everything. Okay, so now as he moves around, uh, he can't normally be, he wouldn't be able to see ahead, uh, but now that he has the dancing lights all over the map, He's able to see those spots ahead, and he can actually plan out his path, opposed to normally just having to move around with his five feet, and you know with the nice fog of war effects, and he can kind of clear up the map. But with the the dancing lights ahead of him, it makes it a little bit easier for him to be able to map out where he's going to go, and it would actually make it practical to use the cantrip, opposed to like fancy grounds where it pretty much just gets forgotten. So. But I really do like the way that effect works. Um, so with the uh, a little further down, so I made my uh, tree icon. So it's about right in here somewhere. I think it's right. I think uh, this is it right here that he's not able to move up and down around. And right here we have the doors that I created. So. This was the wall that had the two doors on the side of it. So he can only see the two walls that he's presented with. Just above that that I created was the wall that had the secret door that he has no ideas there. And then that had the other secret door down here that he's actually literally walking past. So you have to almost be careful too with where you put secret doors because if it's just free floating like that, he's you'll actually even notice that little bit of a change. And then a little further down, he's got his big box that he can't uh, go around, but he can see at least into it with the window. So, But because his vision isn't very far, because he's only just got the five foot of dim vision, he can only basically see right in the doorway and then no further. But if he activates his torch, which for some reason is being locked out. I think it's because he doesn't have any torches in his inventory because he has nothing in his inventory. But if he goes up to the up to the door and opens up, he can uh, he can go inside and then he can, you know, explore accordingly. So also with the other one I created the ethereal wall back on this side. Uh, he can't see past it, but he can go through it. And right here is where you can see how it transitioned where he went through the regular, he's on one side of the wall and then he goes through it. Because he can see on the other side, but he can't see through it. So on either way, it, it blocks blocks the vision. So it's good, especially if you're trying to hide like or change like an elevation staircase, you can build like an ethereal wall to show that it would kind of give you dimensions where if he's at the bottom of the steps, you know, he could see up to a point, and then as soon as he gets up to the top of the steps, then he could see, you know, the other side, and then, but what you would do is you would change the wall 
to be a left wall only so that way you would actually if you're at the top of steps you could look down um, I did that on another map that I'll demonstrate in a minute okay but that's uh, just about good so with lighting and him being able to move around the uh, dancing lights especially when they have vision definitely creates a better effect and so you can see everything a little bit better but let's switch back to the uh, GM mode so you can see how some of those effects can work out especially when you're setting up a map so uh, I did it in Death House uh, so this one staircase right here uh, it's got some ghouls when you get into the top of it so what I did is I created uh, an ethereal wall that creates the effect so when you come up to the top of it you can see up one way but you can't see it the other way so we'll take a character let's take a take a Yurelda here so as soon as she walks up let me clear, reset the fog of war okay so when she's moving up she can't see up the stairs she can only see you know up about halfway and as soon as she heads up the stairs she could see the top but then she can't she can still see down and it'll still kind of create the semblance of a uh, depth and like a, ch a change in elevation so that's the only way you can set it up so that they can look like they have a little bit of extra uh, effects and then so with like this wall I created because they have the uh, grick that's hidden here that uh, comes out whenever you they get close enough to it so I created uh, another little ethereal wall right here so that way you could hide the enemy so that way they see the indention in the wall to make them want to go investigate it but yet they uh, can't see down in it so it makes it uh, gives it a little bit more realistic because you know, some people they look for any corner of a map or any edge of a map to take advantage of They're like oh okay there might be something over here so when they come down of course they won't see the part of the token they'll only see that bit of the wall and be like oh okay so there must be more stuff to explore over here and then boom grick and then they can stand on top of it or get into it but I think that's just about it uh, with the walls uh, I mean you can create a, a lot of cool little effects with the walls um, because like especially with me I'm not a I'm not a big fan especially in, in death house of them being able to use the little portal here to be able to go right back up to the top so I I usually hide it and you know I, I pre-built the wall to make sure that it was completely hidden so they wouldn't be able to see it I gotta... and then also I think I have it set up so whenever I drag mine they will see the wall so I have to be careful so that way they don't uh, they don't metagame a little too much and know that okay whenever I got dragged or moved I was able to see something so you gotta be really uh, really careful and then I actually created on mine um, like in some of my previous videos where I did the uh, staircase going up and down uh, so that way when you go up it goes down this way but that's uh, probably gonna do it for this video and I'll see you in the next one